love a good vacation. So today, I'll be showing you the top 10 African countries you must visit in your lifetime. So pack up your bags and some warm clothing, including our AE Dan chickens, to help you look like a local. You can get yours by contacting us on social media. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. At number 10, we have Tanzania. Tanzania is located on the eastern part of Africa. You might have heard of the name Zanzibar, but did you know that Zanzibar is actually in the country Tanzania? Tanzania is home to Africa's highest mountain called Mount Kilimanjaro, which is 19,341 feet above sea level. So, if you love trekking or up for new challenges, definitely challenge yourself to reaching its summit. If you love animals, I mean, who doesn't? Then you should definitely visit the Serengeti, Mikumi, and Katavi National Parks. You would experience the best safari of your life. But if you're looking for some quietness, Zanzibar, Pemba, and Mafia Island is just the right place for you. Before you leave Tanzania, be sure to get your perfect kanga in the local market. They are the best souvenir of your East African adventure. Guys, fasten your signal and let's go to North Africa, the magical Morocco. Morocco is the best place to have a feel of a multicultural environment since it's distinguished by its Berber, Arabian and European cultural influences. Ladies, be sure to visit Fest City to get your beautiful leather handbags and shoes. Other must-see cities are Casablanca, Marrakech and the Blue Pearl of the North called Chef Shahoven. Moreover, do you love to bargain? Then perfect your bargaining skills in the soups. No visit to Morocco will be complete without the traditional Moroccan hammam. So, give yourself a warm treat before catching that flight back home. At number 8, we have Rwanda. A lot of you might not have heard of this hidden treasure because it's a small country in East Africa. Rwanda is the home for all history, nature and arts lovers. For history lovers, you can learn about Rwanda's interesting history by visiting the Kigali Genocide Memorial, National Museum of Rwanda, and Ethnographic Museum. Rwanda is also home to the rarest breeds of mountain gorillas. Sadly, our big friends are facing threats of going into extinction. By visiting Rwanda, you can go for gorilla trekking and even offer a little donation to help save these beautiful creatures. Also, get a real taste of Rwanda at the Kimironko Market. Don't forget to try the Tamarillo. It's a fruit with a slightly bitter and explosive taste. Yummy! And now to West Africa, Ghana. The Ghanaian president, Nana Akufo Addo, has named the year 2019 as the year of return. He encourages everyone, especially black Americans, to come back home and learn about their history. So far, celebrities like Michael J. White and Biggie Simmons have jumped on this opportunity, while Jay-Z and Beyonce has decided to also visit Ghana this year. Who knows, you might be lucky enough to run into them at the newly built Kotoka International Airport in Accra. Do you love to dance while experiencing a new culture? Ghana has amazing festivals all year round. If you are visiting Ghana, then you must definitely visit the Black Star Gate, Tafi Atomi Monkey Sanctuary, Kumasi Fort, Labadi Beach, Kwame Krumah Memorial, Kankum National Park, Cape Coast Castle, and Wili Waterfalls. Don't forget to take woven kente clothes as souvenirs. Seashells. Yes, fun fact, seashells is in Africa. But are you wondering where exactly it is? Seychelles is a country in the Indian Ocean and it's made up of 115 islands. It is the perfect heaven for a sea lover. It has the most beautiful beaches, amazing hotels and resorts, and it is perfect for snorkeling and diving. Aside that, Seychelles offers a combination of art and history at the Seychelles Natural History Museum, French Cultural Center, and Tempio Hindu. And if you are a seafood lover, like myself, then be ready to dive into a lot of steamed and grilled fish curry dishes, and ETC. Man, that's salivating already. So, looking for a family getaway or a fun girl's trip, 
Your next stop should be Seychelles. At number 5, we have the Gambia. Yet another amazing spot for sea lovers. It is the smallest mainland country in Africa. And because of its hospitable locals, the Gambia is popularly referred to as the smiling coast of Africa. So, before you step out of the plane, don't forget to wear a big smile and huge sunglasses. It has some historical landmarks like Kunta Kinte Island and Fort James Island that are dated back to the slavery period. The Gambia is also home to a lot of animals, especially monkeys and orangutans that you can visit at the Bijilo Forest Park. You can even touch the crocodiles at the Kachikali Museum. Some African countries, I'm not mentioning any names, claim to have the best jollof rice. But have you ever tried Benachin? Jollof rice actually originated from the Senegambia region. So, if you're yet to try Benachin, what are you waiting for? South Africa. As the name implies, South Africa is in the southern part of Africa. Have you heard the name Nelson Mandela? The man who fought against apartheid? Yes, he is South African. And have you heard the song? Tamina mina e e waka waka e e Tamina mina sangrela It's time for Africa! <laughs> I don't know the lyrics so well But yes, that was the official anthem of the 2010 World Cup that took place in South Africa Wildlife Safari should be the top on your list Feeling adventurous? Then kayak with the crocodiles and hippos or go diving with great white sharks for thrill seekers, do a canopy tour or visit the Congo Caves. And before you jet out, quickly pay homage to the Nelson Mandela statue and grab a vuvuzela. And immediately you get back to your home country, blow it out so loud. To deafening point, what better way is there to announce that you're back home? I know right, you're welcome. I know you're also curious to know the top 3, but let's take a short commercial break. But have you subscribed? Yes, you! What are you still waiting for? Welcome back guys! And at number 3, we have... EGYPT! Egypt! Yes, you heard that right! A lot of people have heard of Egypt or have even visited Egypt but don't know that Egypt is actually in Africa! Egypt is home to the last remaining wonder of the ancient world, the Pyramids of Giza, which is nearly 4,000 years old. You can also visit the temples of Karnak and Medina Habu, hike the Mount Sinai, sunboard in the desert, and cruise the River Nile. Tour Egypt's pharaonic sites, dive in the Red Sea, take the hot air balloon ride, and visit the Egyptian Museum. There is so much to do in Egypt, you can never exhaust it. But before you lose all your energy touring around, grab some kushari to eat. You should visit Egypt at least once in your lifetime. At number two, we have Kenya. Kenya is an East African country that shares borders with Tanzania. So you can actually think of doing a two-in-one trip. Kenya is home to the best athletes in the world. So if you're pursuing such career or want to learn how to save your life by running from a hungry lion, then go for expert marathon training in Iten. Watch nature's version of Pretty in Pink in Lake Nakuru where over 2 million flamingos frequent. Definitely go for safari, visit Amboseli National Park, Nairobi National Park and share your breakfast with giraffes at the Giraffe Manor. Get over your fear for snakes or not at the Baoken Snake Farm. And don't forget to get the Maasai Suka cloth there. I heard Louis Vuitton is selling it for thousands of dollars. Don't see I didn't tell you. And this is the moment we all have been waiting for. At number one, we have drum rolls. Madagascar! You probably have heard of the cartoon Madagascar. But personally, I think Madagascar is one of the most underrated countries in Africa. Although it is the fourth largest island in the world, a lot of people still omit it even while drawing the map of Africa. Explore the country's capital, which is a melting pot of colonial history, diverse culture, and fine modern cuisine. Look for lemurs. Of all Madagascar's weird and wonderful creatures, lemurs are the most iconic. There are over 100 different species of lemurs on the island. 
marvel at the baobab trees. Go scuba diving, sample the local cuisine, visit the Pirate Cemetery, Isalo National Park, Lokobe National Park and the Blue Pool. To keep Madagascar forever in your heart, you can take home a bag of baobab seeds. Madagascar loves you too. So guys, let us know which African countries you have visited or which one you would like to visit first. Also, let us know which African country you feel should have made it to this list. For more interesting videos, join our AE family by simply subscribing. It's free. And also, connect with us on social media. We love, love, love welcoming new subjects. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with all your friends, families, and even frenemies. <laughs> Have a great week friends and peace out.